Well, let's get back to our Q&A. Sanjay Rathi on the phone line with us. Sanjay, hi, go ahead. I am looking for a, a four PHK house mm. in a scheme called Mahagun Meadows that is located in sector 150 Noida. Now, the, I have been to the site and I find that uh, it is only 0.6 kilometers from the uh, Noida Great Order, Noida Expressway. The right. location seems to be good. Now, the thing is, the builder is charging me as of now. The scheme is yet to start. This, they are going to charge me about 4,000 rupees per square uh, feet. Okay? okay. And the tentative year of uh, giving possession is. Uh, 2018. All right. Now, madam, I need to know three things. First of all, the track record of the builder. Okay. That is Mahagun Builders. Mm -hmm. Secondly, madam, I need to know whether these prices being charged, 4,000 rupees, this is the rough price per square feet. Is this, this is a reasonable price or not? All right. And thirdly, madam, what are the prospects? Ha. <sighs> okay. So, we have been recommending projects from Mahagun. Uh, developer reputation seems to be all right there's nothing negative about it so far we've not heard anything very big or negative what do you think about the project per se so you see the thing is that when we are talking about current times hmm. you know and we have witnessed that some of the top developers are in serious trouble uh, and that information and news comes out much much later, later. right so over the last two years, we've always been recommending projects that have taken off. Ideally, this is, this is at a launch. Know, at launch the, it's at the stage. launch price. Nothing wrong with the developer. We mm. keep our fingers crossed for every developer that he does well and delivers very well. Uh, sector 150, uh, we think that if you're looking at location, and location is a very important, important uh, aspect, your budget is good enough for you to be able to afford much better sectors. In Noida, which are with uh, good developers far away uh, in terms of execution in terms of well ahead into execution we would stick with our neck out for those kind of projects right now having said that Mahagon is a great developer nothing wrong with him they've received a gold rating from IGBC for this project it's a low density project so a lot of positives going for this project yes if you are willing to wait out 5-6 years because invariably construction is going to get delayed that's been happening with Noida projects all along secondly you are willing to if you want to go for a larger sized property because we are recommending you some expensive properties and that's why your size will get a little compromised but there will be much better locations and with less risk involved so that's the only choice that you really have to make here so we'll give you our recommendations if, if location and size does not uh, it matters a lot to you in terms of location matters a lot to you then go with the other projects if size matters to you then you can go ahead with Mahagun but you'll have to wait for five years at least to get your project in hand 28 projects total supply 11,180 units 24 months of the inventory overhang this is the Noida expressway stretch one now starting with sector 44 going up to 131 these are much better located sectors Please keep in mind that in these sectors also a lot of supply that's coming up and is going to be ready and there's a lot of supply from the retail investor is going to come into the market. So prices will remain depressed in Noida for some time to come. But the luxury segment over here is trading at 6700 rupees a square foot. 32% has been the price appreciation over the last 12, two and a half years or 12.8% on an analyzed basis. For other viewers, Mahagon Meadows, Mahagon India is a developer sector 150, further away 4400 rupees a square foot. If you have a long term horizon, uh, go, you can go ahead, 2017 available with the developer and the th three recommendations from our side are Edifice by Pratik Build Tech, Sector 107, 5800 rupees a square foot, the project's getting ready in 2016, available with the developer, Orchards by JP Group, Sector 131, 6000 to 6100 rupees a square foot, 2016 again uh, is the delivery date, available with the developer and Lotus Boulevard, Spatia by the 3C company, Sector 100. 5800 rupees a square foot 2015 is the completion year and this project is available from the resale market I think most of these investors who are interested in a new project want to play that quick flip game isn't it Samir it's get in at the early stage your commitment and your capital is a low investment and guess what if you've got a clear verdict on the government you could probably see the sentiments improving and may be able to sell. But do you think that looking at the supply we are going to see in the Noida market, that flip will be possible? You get in at 4,000, 
it's an early stage project and then hope to at least take it up to five five and a half in a year and then not pay more than about 25 30 percent up front and flip uh, Nisha, uh, you know the way real estate is going to get played out over the next five years is very different with respect to the way it, it happened last, in the last, in the last, last five, five years absolutely. and it is uh, very important for us to be able to make our consumers and viewers aware that what you have witnessed in the last five years is not going to happen in the next five for sure. Mm. There has been unprecedented amount of supply from 2010 to 2012 that has to get executed especially in the tier one cities, especially in the north and you are going to see a huge oversupply situation on the completed project side. Now what impact it will have on the under construction projects is for all uh, is yet to be seen but it's not going to be a very positive one for sure uh, we are pretty sure that 50 percent of these all these projects that are getting ready are actually uh, been bought by investors who will be looking at exits and those exits are not available to them at this point in time all right with that caution we'd like you to of course let you know that it's you've got to be a very very high risk taker to get into any early stage project in NCR or actually any of the key markets uh, right now so if you've got the risk appetite go ahead because you could also make big money but if you don't have the big risk appetite then stick with at least construction that you've seen at a reasonable stage and these are the three projects that we recommend Edifice uh, Pratik Biltek, there's The Orchard by JP Group and Lotus Boulevard Espacia, the 3C company. JP Group, you okay? I mean, no. they're terribly slow. Even a, so even when you see the building, project, the finishing is taking know, forever. This project was launched in 2011, hmm. and we are saying it's going to get completed by 2016. So we're giving it a good five, six years. That we always give a disclaimer that from the time that we are saying possession is going to be handed over, take another year and a half extra. Ah, okay. That's what you've got to live with. I think it's worth discussing whether real estate still makes a lot of sense to invest in or not. But that's a larger question. Right now, we do have uh, buyers and investors interested. Divya Dhankar on the phone line with us. Divya, hi, go ahead. Hi, uh, I have a question uh, that I'm looking for a residential project on Dwarka Expressway. And the time frame that I'm looking for is three years for, uh, from now uh, for end use. Now, uh, for me, uh, size is uh, definitely a constraint. Uh, I'm looking for 2,500 square feet and above. Mm -hmm. I have uh, shortlisted uh, three projects. Uh, one is uh, Chintel's Paradiso. The other two are Alpha G, uh, Gurdaw one in C4, uh, and the Best Pet Grand Spa, uh, also uh, in New Gurdaw, whereas the Chintel's Paradiso is in sector 109. My query inside my office would be uh, towards the LF city and uh, that is where I would have to be up and down. So which project would give me, uh, uh, you know, decision analysis would be for end use uh, at the end of years from now? Okay. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I have a little contrarian view here for uh. what she's really looking for. So if she would like my two bits of advice. You know, you're looking at from an end use perspective. The micro markets in which you're looking at, uh, A, your budget is extremely good. Secondly, that those are not livable areas, the social infrastructure is not there in place at all. And it's going to take three to five years for the right kind of social infrastructure to come there. Uh, so we would, in keeping your requirement in mind, would recommend you uh, far more better sectors, uh, especially say for example golf course extension, where you can draw upon uh, the social infrastructure from Sona Road or Golf Coast Road and there is a lot of activity that is happening over there. So with your kind of budget in mind, clearly we would recommend Golf Coast Extension because it's an end use decision also, it's a much safer one. So we would recommend you to stay away from Gurgaon, although nothing wrong with the developer, nothing wrong with the project, but location from an end use perspective is not correct at this point in time. So we would go and uh, stick with uh, recommended locations on the Golf Coast Extension and that's what we would recommend starting with sector 58 going up to sector 67A. 13 projects here, 5120 units. This is the mid segment where the weighted average price is touching 7800 rupees a square foot. The Gulf Coast extensions uh, price appreciation has been 48% now over the last two and a half years and 19% on an analyzed basis. Uh, Gurga one as we suggested you could stay away from because of the location. Parkview Spa Next by Bestech Group is a clear winner. You can go in the resale market, you'll get projects between 7200 to 7500. This project is absolutely ready. No execution risk and you're getting it at a very decent price point. 2014 was a completion year, it's a brand new project. 
हेरिटेज वन बाय कॉन्शन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सेक्टर सिक्सटी टू इट्स एट थाउजेंड रुपीज स्क्वायर फुट बट आई एम श्योर इन द माइक्रो मार्केट इफ यू गो एंड लुक फॉर रीसेल डील्स इट्स अवेलेबल इन द रीसेल मार्केट यू प्रॉब्ली गेट अ मच बेटर डील देन दिस इज वेल एंड देन वी हैव अप टाउन बाय आईरियो अप टाउन सेक्टर सिक्सटी सिक्स एट थाउजेंड रुपीज स्क्वायर फुट अगेन कंपटीशन ईयर इज दिस ईयर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन अवेलेबल फ्रॉम द रीसेल मार्केट नो नीड टू टेक एनी रिस्क गो फॉर बेटर माइक्रो मार्केट दैट्स वॉट यू रिकमेंड यू बिकॉज योर बजट अलाउज यू टू डू दैट Absolutely. What about the Alpha G Corp project that she is speaking about? What we are saying is that it's very far off. Mm. Social infrastructure is not in place. Uh, it's not going to be really livable. She is looking from an end-use perspective. Her budget allows her to be in in close proximity to the well-lived-in areas of Gurgaon. So she doesn't need to go that far. Okay. So here's a quick summary: the Spark View Spa, next best tech growth, the Heritage One, constant infrastructure, and there's Uptown by Ido, and all these projects are going to be almost ready. In fact. Yes. they're very very close to finishing one is already ready one is already ready okay so on our second screen in fact the question is very close to what we've just been discussing which is a better investment option dwarka express way or noida express way now this is a tricky one some isn't it <laughs> i like these ones dwarka express way or noida express way i do know that when we were discussing a question i think that was last week you actually said dwarka express way because it's closer to delhi noida express way at least if you've got a five five year horizon you will have an express way and then you will see a lot of price appreciation is that true now well uh, that was with respect to that question uh, where we had were discussing from an investment point of view yeah even now right. it's an investment so question what is a better investment, investment option? option absolutely five year horizon dwarka express way wins hands down for many reasons uh, hmm. but uh, end use just for our viewers noida express way would be better because there's so much more uh live projects that are ready and livable but from an investment point of view too much supply on noida expressway has to be seen how much of it is going to get consumed too much ready stock available price points will stagnate over there dwarka expressway still a lot of infrastructure there to come up uh, price points now are affordable proximity to delhi proximity to airport proximity to gurgaon employment generation being the key factor so that's why it scores over Not express. Not express way, but I think Dwarka Express way. We need to tell our viewers it has to be bought at the right price. I mean, Dwarka Express way is trading at nine thousand, at ten thousand, eleven thousand, and, and you've got to make 5, sure 000. at even at five thousand. So, where right on the express project, way are you right buying? Right project, right micro market, right developer. It has, you have to tick all the all check boxes these. correctly to Otherwise, get money now. Otherwise, they'll come and catch your throat. So they it says Manisha Rajan answers your question. That's the reason why I actually <laughs> hand it over to you because I don't want to get caught five years from now. We are, no, we are happy to stick a stick our neck our neck out as long as people have a five year horizon. A five year horizon and, and, and the right price. They come to us for choosing price. the right project. Absolutely, and I would go with that. Uh, right price is, I think, a very big question. Or. is the key to making good money and also the right developer and that's the reason why we say watch the show that's what we'll bring you the right projects at the right price dwarka express way over noida express way if you're just an investor and of course if you're an end user we would still say buy something in noida express way vishal bora writes in and he says i want to buy a 3 bhk ready to shift in flat budget is 45 lakhs i'm searching in or near chitrakoot and also on the sirsi road please guide me that's jaipur what do we do i mean uh, th there's some controversies now even around the metro mm -hmm. and in jaipur and you know the next leg of it probably getting stalled this is a market which had a lot of potential so it didn't it yeah, didn't really pan out uh, so uh, it's not too bad in any case because uh, the areas where he where he's looking for these are fully is, settled these are settled no risk as such we recommend vaishali nagar and sirsi road for you uh, chitrakoot is a part of vaishali nagar but this is a much better area vaishali nagar as such with better infrastructure compared to chitrakoot so stick to vaishali nagar and sirsi road uh, total projects in vaishali nagar 12 sirsi road 7 1180 units in vaishali nagar and sirsi road is 1350 units the inventory over rank is 14 months in vaishali nagar and sirsi road is 8 months the weighted average price on uh, of vaishali nagar for the mid segment is 3500 rupees square foot and sirsi is 3100 rupees square foot price appreciation has been reasonably good sometimes in some cases better than tier 1 cities 35 and 36% mm -hmm. over the last two and a half years 
or 14 percent. Yes, Shali Nagar has always been your basis. favorite market. Yes, but the price appreciation has been good now because earlier we used to witness 60 percent price appreciation in tier one and 30 35 percent in tier two. Now the, the gap is narrowing. Yes, difference. Uh, Rangoli Garden two uh, by Ashiana Housing is the first recommendation in Vaishali Nagar 3070 to 3220 rupees a square foot. 2013 is when this project got ready. Uh, available still with the developer. Classic residency uh, by Kotecha Group, Vaishali Nagar, 3500 rupees a square foot. 2013 October is the completion year available with the developer. And then you have Rosewood Apartments by Opasna Group, Sirsi Road, 3200 rupees a square foot. Got ready in 2013 and available from the resale market. Quick summary, there's Rangoli Gardens 2, Ashiana Housing, Classic Residency, Kotecha Group, Rosewood Apartments by Opasna Group. And we're talking about Vaishali Nagar, Jeffwood.